Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so cold now guys. Um, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to anime. Welcome back to new video. Welcome back to reacting to Tarzapa. That's a three. Let's go. Hmm. That water was from the ice I had in my um, water earlier. So, um, Nick is taking the gate, like, is the gay test. He's taken the gay test. And he's just found out he's homosexual. Meaning he's gay. It's just about a party, man. Party? My sister's birthday party. St. George's Hotel this Saturday. You're gonna be there. Yeah. So, <laughs> you better bring some cool people mm -hmm. here as well. You gonna invite me? Uh, only if you're cool enough, apparently. Wait, isn't she the only girl in the friend group? Fine, I... I guess I can invite you anything. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. But he only wants Charlie to come to the party. <laughs> he mainly invited Charlie. Must be really awkward in a changing room. I always wanted what I always wanted to know what they talk about in the uh, boys' changing room. Oh, Charlie is so shy. He's the person to wear a jumper wearing sports, whereas everybody is wearing like no jumpers. I think he don't want to play rugby because of him. So you know on like the last episode he quits the rugby team. Um where well, I know Nick obviously still plays the plays rugby in the whole show, but um I think he I think Nick now just like assumes like Charlie doesn't tell him that he's quit the rugby team, but I think he's guess it's like obvious he's quit it because he is not at the rugby match on the sports day on like the last episode i think yeah just say my thoughts guys just say my thoughts it's not his thing at all i think nick's the one who's always like instigating these things like always making the first move I'm screaming! <laughs> I'm 
that will be me sacred No, Levant is fine. Before I, if I was Shirley, I would have said, oh, by the way, I'm going at 10. You know, so I know. So I know where he is. Oh, bless him. It's not his seed, is it? It's not his seed. Oh, he's so shy. <laughs> <clears throat> right. I would love to have a biggish party, but I don't have enough friends, unfortunately, for that. This must be your whole entire school because it's so many people. Looks crazy. Crazy. Oh, look at the smiley faces. Oh, cute. How many floors did you have? Three, I think. What about arrival? Oh my god, that's even better. Can't we just watch something funny? What were you having a film night? Yeah, a fun one. I just wanted it to be like old times. Well, it's not old times anymore. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm super sick. <clears throat> Can't make it tonight. Oh. Do you think that's just like an excuse to like read, reading his books? No colors, all right, mate. <laughs> At Harry's party, Harry's wearing a really small 16 badge, but for Charlie's past birthday party, he wore a big, big badger, like a big, big badge. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> Harley's changing. What do you mean? He's gone to one of Rich Boy Harley's. That's a fun night. Sharing a pizza, watching a movie, all that. They can do 
Nah, he's not. He's so awkward. Grammy winning. This is like everything. This should win every TV show awards. I know one like Emmys and I think yeah. He sounds so surprised, like, friends, you've got friends. Really <laughs> he sounds so, so surprised. I don't even try talking to people at first. But I realise that He literally bumps into Harry, like literally. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. Awkward. Awkward. King, what are you? <laughs> oh my god. Ben's so mean. Yeah. Yeah. I kept buying your apple juice. What? I kept 
accidentally buying your apple juice at lunch at the start of the term. Tao, that's so dumb. <laughs> anyway. I want to see Tao's new hair now. New, like, ASAP. We promise that, like, no matter what happens, we'll always prioritise our friendship. Oh, a bit dramatic. No, I'm serious. Like, no matter what changes, we always, always put our friendship first. We'll still go bowling and watch creepy documentaries, and we'll always stay up to watch the Oscars. And we'll always be able to talk about deep stuff, like this. Fine. Every couple and every friendship need to like have it's good to have like deep chats my best friend just sent me a text on snapchat <laughs> love that so normally i always send a chat when i first wake up right um she wakes up after me We, we haven't spoken all day and like I just thought she was busy but that is nice I don't think you can get drunk at the party I guess this is just Immy being Immy I guess That gave him the push to find Charlie. Go on, Sam. There just needs to be a gay couple couple now in the show. Hiring this entire 
At the moment, <laughs> what right now? In two years, <laughs> yesterday, today. I don't know. Maybe. Very direct. <laughs> you wouldn't ask someone, would you kiss me? Was def a definite yes. All the other questions were maybe. intrudes and interrupts them. could have stayed there and just continue talking. If I was Nick, I would say, stay there, stay there, <laughs> don't move. <laughs> but he didn't. But he didn't. Oh, Harry's famous line, Harry's famous quote. It's just banter, isn't it? <laughs> it's just banter. I mean, if you think about it, I love his friends are like nice and there's TV show, but like Sai and Christian aren't the only people who are nice. 
Oh no, Charlie left. It's like Cinderella at midnight. Deep stuff. The deep stuff. <sighs> I still don't know to this day why he's crying. I think it was because he left, Nick left and he didn't text him back. I think, I don't know actually. Ten thirty I thought that was a good, that was a good sleep. From 10 till 10, I thought sleep. I assumed he would go to like sleep straight away. Postman, he bought livery. <gasps> no, it's Nick. <laughs> Nick is a perfect example of a boyfriend. Right, everyone, thanks for watching episode three. I will do some more videos later. Bye, guys.